All right, guys, welcome back to some more Warno. Today, we're looking at a new exciting feature for the map editor. We're going to be exporting our created maps and putting them into a mod so we can play with other players. Now, this here is my Crown 1v1 map. Um, it's been shown off before, um, and there's all the steps on how to create your own scenario map in one of my previous videos, so you guys can go check that out. Um, but for this one, we're gonna leave the editor. So we've done everything we need to do here. We've saved it and we've exported it. Um, and so we're gonna leave this here. We're gonna close the editor. And then we're gonna need to open a couple of folders. So I've got them prepared here. Once your save games uh, folder, where all your replays go when you untick cloud saving. And the other one is your game directory. And you can just open this up uh, through Steam if you uh, go to properties, installed files, and you can just browse there. Super easy to get to. Okay, so we're going to go into our save game folder here. We're going to head down to scenario. We're going to look for our map we've created on here. You can see I've got a bunch in here, but we've got crown v1 here, which is the one we want to use. And here's our folder. Now, when you first go into this, you won't have map pack and you won't have scenario definition. Those are two that we're going to be creating for this tutorial. So let's open up the map pack one first. And you just want to create an NDF file to do this. Um, and you can see I've got something in here already. Now we're going to run through all of this um, line by line just to make sure you, you know what you're doing for each one. And I'll um, put some text guide as well to help you out and you can read through that um, if that's more helpful for you. So, starting off with the scenario name, uh, you just want to put your name in here, and this has to match what you put in your de um, in the the editor. Basically, it's got to be the same name as what you've saved as in the editor. So that's a pretty easy one there. The description, uh, I've got Crown V1 again, but this one it needs to um, match the localization token linked um, to your scenario display name, um, and we'll get to that in a moment. You can see it's kind of down here but um, we'll reference back to this later on so just keep that in mind for the moment um, slots opened this is just the number of slots in game that it's going to show open for it obviously when you're in game you can change that but um, you can put this um, you can put it at odd numbers as well if you want it's it's whatever you want I've just got mine at four uh, game mode has to actually stay as this so don't change that, that's got to stay just like that. Combat rule, we've got a conquest in here, but you can use destruction, so you just change your conquest over to destruction. Environment settings, this is all about uh, the lighting, basically. Um, now, uh, not all of these lighting stakes exist, uh, and you can actually go and look into other um, like scenario, like folders, or official maps, and kind of check um, the different lighting stuff. So some of these you might have to delete, might have to change. It depends on the map. Um, but a lot of that's in my previous video. You can kind of look over. But we're going to leave them there for the moment. And then we've got map size, density, and has rivers. Now these are just descriptors, basically. Um, this one has to be either size MED, size SMA, or uh, L O W basically um, and that should give you all the different sizes for it and then we got density can be low med or high and then has rivers uh, true or false basically these are just descriptions of the map which will show up for it um, so that's that's all you need for this top bit and that's just the map and though and then we've got this extra added bit in the bottom here so this is all about localization. Now you can see I've got crown v1 just in here. This is super important. This has to be the exact name of the scenario as well. Um, so just replace this bit with the name of your scenario. I'll have a example text in the description for all of this so you can use that. So this, this is all set for us. Um, obviously, if you're not using crown, you'll have to do a different map name and stuff like that. But um, that roughly explains all of that stuff there. Um, so we'll leave that to the side for one moment. And then you're also gonna to wanna to make this scenario definition CSV file. 
Now let's open this up and you can see I've got this text just over here. I've got crown v1 and crown v1. Now I'm actually going to bring in uh, the scenario text because it's going to make it a bit easier to uh, understand like the um, base text. So we've got the token name and then the display name of your scenario. So remember how I was saying I was saying about the token name earlier. Crown v1. This description. The token name has to match this name right here. So whatever you put in here has to be the same as this description here. It's very important for that to make it work. And then you've got your display name of the scenario just in here. Okay. So you, uh, whatever you want to call it, just put that in there. Um, and you can see, uh, obviously, like these quote marks are in here, but um, take those out. You can you can see how it's set up here. Just want to have it exactly like that. So I'll delete that now. We'll, uh, we'll close that up and there we go so those are the files we need to create in this scenario folder now on to our next step over here in the Warner game directory we can go into the tools folder and in here we've got some interesting options we've got the launch generation launch game of local data and launch data packing now initially we're going to start with the launch generation so we're just going to get this guy going there now this is the same steps as what I was doing kind of manually um, before in the previous video. There's now like a nice bat file here which will just run it for you and that's that's generated the files there which is perfect. Um, at this point we can just launch a game with local data. So this, if you just want to play the scenario by yourself against AI, whatever, this is the steps you're going to do um, to get to that point. Let's wait for this to load in. There we go. Hello, solo, skirmish, and there we go. We've got Crown V1. You can see my other ones I haven't done the, these steps for with these maps, but this one I have. So we've got Crown V1, it's labeled there. Um, gives us that info, and then we can just play on this. No problems. So that's how that works. That's how we get to the scenario. Now, we're going to go a little bit further. We're going to want to do the data packing. Now, data packing is going to generate um, some more files for us, which we're going to need for creating the mod. So we're going to launch the data packing. Uh, that was quick. So that's all done. And then in our save game folder again, you can see down the bottom we've got data packs. So let's just open that up. Scenarios. Go in here and you can see we've got Crown V1 Assets, Definition and Details. So we're just going to copy those, head back into our main folder, head back into our game directory now, and we're going to want to make a mod. So we head into Mods, Create New Mod. Uh, we're going to call this one Crown V1. That's just going to make a new mod directory. You can see it's popped up just here. Head into that and then we just click generate mod. Okay, there we go. So that's all done. Just press any key. Sorted. Now, back to the save game folder here. We're going to head into mod. And we can see we've got crown v1 just here. We're going to open that up. In this you'll get the gen folder. There's nothing in it. Um, and the config folder here. We're going to want to put in a new folder. We're going to call this Scenarios. And in here, we're going to want to paste those uh, files that we copied earlier, which seem to no longer be copied. So let's go back, grab these three, copy them back into mod. Scenarios, paste them in there. There we go. So that's the mod made, that's the assets put into there. We can now launch Warno normally. And we should be able to now enable the mod. Give these loading screens. But yeah, we can enable the mod and we can play it in multiplayer if other players have the mod as well.
And there you go. Down the bottom left, you can see mods activated. Crown V1. Let's head into multiplayer. Uh, just create a public game. Crown V1. We're in here. And we can see if we refresh the list here, you can see Wooden Box's game. Crown V1. In the map list here. Amongst everything else. So yeah, there you go. That is how you create a mod. Um, and then uh, there's the whole uploading process and stuff for it, but there's tutorials on that as well. Of course, this game keeps launching again. But you can just share the files over to another player. They just put it in a mod folder in there, save games, and enable it um, through the menu like I've done here. Then you can both play together. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions about any of these steps. Um, I'll try and help out if you've got any errors, any issues, anything like that. I'll see what I can do. Um, and obviously, if you do get any crashes or anything like that, then um, do pass it along to Eugen. They're pretty responsive to try and get these these crashes sorted. Um, but yeah, catch you guys in the next one.